This would be a targeted strike to achieve a clear objective, deterring the use of chemical weapons and degrading Assad's capabilities. President Obama making his case for military action in Syria. It is in the national security interests of the United States to respond to the Assad regime's use of chemical weapons through a targeted military strike. He addressed the United States on television on Tuesday, telling Americans he was willing to explore the Russian proposal for Syria to hand over its chemical weapons to avoid airstrikes, but he remains skeptical. It's too early to tell whether this offer will succeed, and any agreement must verify that the Assad regime keeps its commitments. But this initiative has the potential to remove the threat of chemical weapons without the use of force, particularly because Russia is one of Assad's strongest allies. Mr. Obama also tried to persuade his war-weary citizens that military action might still be necessary, reminding the world that Bashar al-Assad's regime was to blame for the chemical weapons attack on August 21st. If we fail to act, the Assad regime will see no reason to stop using chemical weapons. As the ban against these weapons erodes, other tyrants will have no reason to think twice about acquiring poison gas and using them. For now, civil war continues in Syria, while the West debates whether or not to take action.